Hey you guys, you're Marty Geek. In this video, I'll share with you guys another Adobe application from iOS, uh, which is very awesome. It's called Spark Pages. And what it is, is an application that lets you create web pages and share it with anybody, any social network like Facebook, Twitter, it doesn't matter. Um, here you can see previews of web pages created by users that use this application. And I can see here the, the way that's being built with this application it just looks amazing it looks very very nice very elegant and it's incredible that you can actually do it here and it's very very easy to do it like you see here you could create links to um, videos links to another web pages or look at this right here it takes you to this website so you could purchase the this cap right there uh, and I can see there you can get an idea of what's possible when you go through these previews and see what the creations of others, which is very nice. I totally recommend going through these um, previews. That way you can have an idea of all the cool stuff you can do with this application. Very, very easy. Uh, so let's go ahead and close there. Let's go ahead to my pages here. Um, every time you create web pages, they're all going to be here from here. You can either preview. Uh, rename duplicate or delete when you choose delete you could either delete it from the iPad or you could delete from anywhere uh, but right now let's go ahead and create a new um, project here let's go and start with um, oops you cannot use um, you cannot use the keyboard for example I had um, I had these on Gboard keyboard I guess I cannot use it here that really sucks uh, creating tech videos there you go so there you have it um, here you can choose a photo you can either choose a photo from your gallery or take a photo or creative cloud or lightroom dropbox google photos which is awesome or you could go ahead and search for a photo here like like video games well let me go ahead and choose the video games Bum, bum, bum. You can type whatever you want there, you know, search for, um, you know, images based on video games or to whatever you type there. You can create like, a, for example, trees, you know, search for um, images of trees. Uh, so right here, I'm just going to go ahead and choose. Uh, let's go ahead and choose this. It's gonna do, oh, look at that. Awesome. <laughs> there you have it. So this right here would be my like my my header for my website. And of course, uh, you keep on going down here, and from here down downwards, you're gonna start creating your web page. Uh, keep in mind here, you can also customize this. Uh, like for example, if you tap like right here, you can move around your text. You can move it around and put it like right there or in the middle. Uh, you can also change the themes here. It has a lot of awesome looking themes here. Look at that. It changes the way this is written. Look at that. Very cool. Go ahead and move it here to the middle. And remember, everything that you do here, everything that you apply, it's also going to affect. Look at that. That looks very cool. Awesome. Nice. Look at that. Very cool. Uh, let's go and leave one. Let's go, and, let's go and leave this one. This one looks pretty cool. There you go. So, oh, it has a filter there. But, okay, whatever. Um, here, let's go ahead and, for example, start um, putting, like, photos. If I want to put a photo here. Um, here from my gallery. No, I want to choose from my iPad, right? And I choose this right here. Boom. There you go. Choose it there. I could put that photo there. I could also create a like a caption here. Okay. Oh, where is it? Caption. There you go and every time you write you also have this right here you can actually for example select all this select no damn it select all there you go cool image awesome if you want to add something here you're always going to have these plus buttons because uh, it doesn't matter what you create you can create you can still create something before or after whatever you created so that's very cool there uh, so here, if I want to put something here, like a link to a website, I could put here uh, my channel, right? And I could put here, like, for example, you, uh, damn, I keep sliding. <laughs> I keep sliding there because I'm used to using the keyboard, uh, sliding keyboards. 
so I can put slash and uh, da, 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 mark. Whoop. There you go. And here I could either put it in the middle, put it like that. I'm going to go ahead and put it in the middle. The link is good. Click right there. And there you have it. Look at that. That's very cool. So you got a, a button there with, that says my channel. And if you at any time, if you want to preview your web page, all you got to do is press right here. Boom, and you can see the preview, how it, the ending product would look. Look at that. That looks very cool. See, and this is the end. Uh, if you tap right there, it should take you to, look at that. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Perfect to my web page. So, so like, see there, we proved that this link actually works. And let's go ahead back again over here. Keep on adding stuff here. On here, I could write a... Let's go ahead and put anything. Making. And of course, here, if I want to put it like here in the middle, like that, like that, um, I could go ahead and also select all. Go like that. That bullet. <laughs> you see there? Put it in the middle. And like that. Awesome. And let's go ahead and put another stuff here. We already did this photos here. Uh, video. Let's go ahead and put a video here. Uh, let's go ahead and choose a video from a website from my YouTube channel. All right. Let's go ahead to YouTube and look for YouTube here. You're going to choose this video right here. I'm going to go ahead and choose uh, the link. Oh. There you go. Copy. Let's go ahead and put it here. Paste. Uh, add video. Pull up. And you go. Look at that. Ha ha. Right here. Me. And here. Awesome. <laughs> very cool. Um, here, let's go ahead and put a photo grids. Photo grids are very easy to do as well. Here, let's go ahead to uh, whatever location you want as well. Again, uh, here, let's go ahead to iPad so that way we can up apply images really fast. Uh, let's go and choose, uh, for example, this one, uh, this one, uh, this one. You can add as much images as you want here. So, here, I'm going to create like a for example, it's like a little slideshow or grids. There you go. Choose whatever there. Bump. And there you have it. Look at that. That looks very cool. So if you tap on one of the images, let's go and hit preview. Right? Look at this, how 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 it's looking. Right? Here, if you tap on one image, you, the a person who taps on it is going to be able to just go slide through the images. Look at that. That's very, very cool. Very nice. So let's go ahead back again close there we could continue here at any time if you want to eliminate a picture that you don't like from here you just tap there and click delete yeah delete from the grid oh it deleted everything oh that sucks so let's go ahead and choose again all the other images as well no oh, take this out take this out take this out just there there no it's going to take this out there you go there you have it there you have it there you have it very cool like see there very easy it's click click done there you have it. you got your grids there uh let's go ahead and keep adding stuff here glide show is pretty cool as well this is very awesome uh this makes the photos look like that i'm just gonna go ahead and skip here so we can choose our own photos here so let's go ahead and choose something that looks nice there you go there choose this um here just nice looking images every time you use this use this option i recommend using great images click done and there you have it look at that so now when you go through the web page look how cool it looks awesome look at that that looks very beautiful and here like see you got a little block there you can actually write something in here uh, for example you can actually put uh cool <laughs> cool looking road 
There you go. Put it in the middle. There you go. Select all. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Very cool. Um, here you can actually put, like for example, a photo inside of a grid. There you go. Look at that. Here. Write something here. Um, let's link a video. We can go ahead and link a video here as well. Can we look at the other video here? Yeah, let's go ahead and click it there. There you go. <laughs> like you see there. And here we can go ahead and write here like superhero. Superheroes. And in the middle. And that's it. Very awesome. Awesome. So like you see there, you can keep on putting stuff here on the web page okay so i show you guys how to do photos how to do text how to do links here um and here videos grids and glide show and here like for example you could go ahead and click another link here and say thanks for watching there you go and here we can go ahead again and put um anything any any link what, what whatsoever that you want here click right there anything bump select all copy go bring it over here there you go bump and here put it in the middle done and that's it so if you're done with the page, you can go ahead and preview it. Remember, anytime uh, you can actually come back, even if you've posted the, uh, this web page already, you can still come back over here and create changes. And all the changes will take effect. Well, you see there, look at that. That looks very cool. Put a videos. Look at that. That looks very, very nice. And... There you have it. Thanks for watching. You could link this to a website, a specific website here. I linked it. I linked it to a video, but you can link that to a specific website as well. And that's it. So when you're done, you're going to see all these messages right here. It says created and blah, blah, blah. Adobe Spark page. And that's it. So once you're done, you know, and you like what you're seeing, uh, you can either close here, right? And here you can go ahead, for example, and change the way the theme looks and we go preview you can see there it looks a little bit different uh, the background looks a little bit different as well very nice like the way this slides in look at this the way this slides in also looks different so there's gonna be some changes every time you do something here um here let's say when you're done you could go ahead click here and you see your web page right there. You can make it public. Uh, category, you can select the category here. For example, lifestyle, uh, attribution. You could play Arthur, uh, my name, or your, your name, of course, not my name, right? And here you could go ahead and put like an image. And go ahead and put this image there, right there. <laughs> and that's the Arthur. So when you click there, done. Uh, credits you can also create uh, do credits here as well as well and you can go ahead and share this with anybody for example on Facebook or anything like that and email like that whatever click continue and there you go please wait while we upload your spark page exiting this screen will cancel the upload um, so right now I'm sharing that I guess I'm sharing this with a uh, spark page uh, here, see it here. I could go ahead and share this link to anybody, for example, any friends or whatsoever. And here is the web page. So it takes you to the web page, spark.adobe.com. You see there. And this is the final product. Look at that. Isn't that freaking awesome? How how easy it is to create this, you know? And remember, I just did this right here very very fast no didn't put any effort whatsoever and look at this at the end you know that we saw the the adding the author name now we can see the author name created by mark the little picture there and if, if you want to appreciate you click right there appreciate it this appreciate it <laughs> so there it is that right here opens the page very awesome let's go ahead here we play a video plays right here opens up completely in the screen 
that's very very awesome so guys that's it for this video just want to um not now okay just want to share this video with you guys look at this um here after you share your page you can see the views as well right now i have one view because of course that was me i'm um, edited uh thumbs up you go ahead here again uh unpublish if you want to unpublish your website click right there and here you can duplicate rename share preview or delete from the ipad or from everywhere and that's it guys uh let me see here this is another web page that i was practicing as well look at that that's very cool you click right there to preview it you can see the web pages there look at that the video the pictures awesome look at that another grid with awesome looking pictures as well that's awesome my channel click right there bumps takes you to the channel awesome here you got some awesome images there Look at that. And you got the Arthur. Thanks for watching my blog. Awesome. You could create this as a button as well. So, guys, thanks for watching the video. This was Adobe Spark Pages for iOS. It's not available for Android yet. I, I assume it might become available later on in the future. Uh, but I got to say, it's an awesome application. You can do whatever you want. They have so far three awesome applications, which is Post. I already made a video for that pages this is this video and there's another application called spark video i think it is and it's very cool as well so guys thanks for watching the video till next time